Hey guys, my name is Alex Chacon. I'm currently here at one of Earth's most delicate sandstone structures, the Wave. The Wave is located on the Utah-Arizona border in the United States and is arguably one of the most magnificent sandstone structures on Earth every photographer dreams of capturing. The Wave started forming millions of years ago when Jurassic period winds transported accumulated sand into dunes, eroded, dried up, and cemented it, then cut and carved it into what you see today, incredibly mostly by just wind itself. Today, the walls and floor are lined with paper-thin sandstone that you can hear breaking and crumbling underneath your feet as you walk, which is why access is restricted to 20 people per day in order to preserve this hypersensitive area easily prone to irreversible damage. This is the world famous wave. The wind takes the sand, pushes it through, and it basically starts cutting it into layers. There's a lot of these similar formations around this entire area. However, this one just happens to be the most significant and beautiful. Although permits are only seven US dollars per person, the wave is so incredibly popular and delicate, only 20 people a day are allowed to access it. 10 of these day access permits are raffled off in the monthly online lottery that permits access on a specific date, six to eight months in advance. And the other 10 permits are raffled off daily in an in-person lottery at the BLM office in Kanab, Utah that grants access to the wave the following day. At this lottery, you'll be competing with between 50 to 150 other hikers, making your chances of winning less than 7%. There are approximately 170,000 applications per year with only 7,300 permits issued in total. If the odds are against you, you can spend your entire life applying and never obtain a permit. Shut the front door. <laughs> the trick is to get here early because the later you wait, the more people show up. So luckily, there's only 20 people here. Imagine if there were 200 people here, if there were 100 people here, it would completely destroy this area. It would be such a nightmare. So I can definitely see why 20 people is a limit per day. You'll most likely need a 4x4 vehicle to get to the wave, depending on current weather conditions. The hike is a difficult and moderately complicated five mile round trip hike that can be fatal in the summer with the heat that can be over 38 Celsius that has unfortunately taken the lives of four people in the past. Your permit will include a very detailed map with pictures, GPS coordinates, and trailheads that will help guide you to the wave. But it is still a tricky trail to navigate in and out. All right, so the only problem about this trail is that it's really easy to get lost. Like, this is my second time here and I got lost again. So you gotta be careful because you can get lost. In the summer months, they recommend you take two gallons of water when you're walking out here because it's just that dangerous, that hot, and that remote. It's impossible to say what the best time to go is for photography. Early to late morning and early afternoon is said to be the best because of the lack of shadows. However, each stage of light throughout the day provides some very unique beauty and detail to every picture. So I woke up at 5 a.m. and I actually get here by 6 and I've been walking the trail now since nightfall. The number one tip for the wave is come sunrise for the best lighting. And yeah, definitely this is the best time to get the colors, the fire. This area of Earth is just absolutely gorgeous. Be sure not to miss other sites around the famous wave. They are equally impressive and unique. Most people dislike the lottery system that exists to protect this natural wonder. However, the privacy, exclusivity, and silence of this place will allow you to admire in awe and wonder at the creative process of Mother Nature. So that was the wave. Thanks for joining me. See you next time. Currently here at the world's. Uh, hold on. Oh, oh God, sorry. <laughs> it's so cold. Currently here at. Oh man, not good today. Sandstone structures. The wave. Yes, got it. Crushed it. Crushed it. <laughs> thanks, Dave. Thanks. So really, a lot of the beauty of the wave is not the wave itself. It's actually the trek there. So one of the best things about this is that it's so quiet and there's nobody here. The reason there's only 20 people allowed to visit here every single day, and that's because every time you step on this fragile sandstone, it crumbles and breaks underneath your feet. Mm -hmm.